Now, to present the award for Best New Play of the Year, Alec Baldwin. Mr. Baldwin was nominated for a Tony for his portrayal of Stanley Kowalski in the electrifying 1992 revival of Tennessee Williams' A Streetcar Named Desire. Good evening and thank you. It's been a terrific season for new plays in New York. One after another is open to raves from the critics. And so this year's four nominees for Best New Play are each especially outstanding. They are Art by French playwright Yasmina Reza. Translated by Christopher Hampton, Art is about the collapse of a long-time friendship caused absurdly by a plain white painting as a simple clash of tastes, which escalates into a full-blown confrontation. Starring Alan Alda, Victor Garber, and Alfred Molina, Art is at once provocative and hilarious. Next, The Beauty Queen of Lenan. The 27 by 27-year-old Irish playwright Martin McDonough, which involves a cast of four characters, played as they originally played it at the Druid Theatre in County Galway, Ireland, by Marie Mullen, Brian F. O'Byrne, Tom Murphy, and Anna Manahan. A bitter comedy that gradually turns into something far deeper and frightening. It takes place in a remote Irish country cottage where we now meet Anna Manahan as an aging widow whose spinster daughter has just come home at dusk. My porridge, Maureen, I haven't had. Will you be getting? No, in a minute, Maureen. Have a rest for yourself. Did you meet anybody on your travels, Maureen? Ah, no. Not on a day like today. Although you don't say hello to people is your trouble, Maureen. Although some people it would be better not to say hello to. The fellow up and murdered the poor old woman in Dublin, and he didn't even know her. That's a fellow it would be better not to talk to. The beauty queen of Linan is about a possessive, conniving old woman, me. <laughs> and her frustrated spinster of a daughter, Maury, who at 40 at last has a suitor who looks upon her as his beauty queen. The playwright, young Martin McDonough, has brought the classic art of Irish storytelling back to the theater and given the play back to the audience where it belongs. <clears throat> In the third of our nominated plays, James Lapine's production of the funny and moving Golden Child by David Henry Wong, the ghost of an old Chinese woman transports us back to her childhood in China of 1918. From Golden Child, here is Juliana Solistillo. children, of course. But one winter, when I am little girl, Papa came home with a Christian missionary, a white demon. Mama, who was first wife, only liked traditional things, like Confucius and Mahjong and opium. But second wife, try to gain favor by kissing up to this new god. And third wife had to choose between her husband and her ancestors. It was the winter when I first heard the voices of the dead, when Papa took the bindings off my feet. The winter I became the golden child. It is New York, it is today, it is cool, and it is the last of this year's four nominated best plays, Freak, an autobiographical tour de force, which was both written and smashingly performed by young John Leguizamo in a high-energy, 
one-man show, John Leguizamo. Complete y'all. Life started against me because I was born a skinny Latin kid with an attention span of sperm. And my parents couldn't... Sp what happened? No mic? Oh, here I am, people. <laughs> I've been reborn. <clears throat> I said, freak, freak, y'all. Freak, freak, y'all. Uh, life started against me, obviously, not just with this mic problem, but because <laughs> I was born a skinny Latin kid with an attention span of a sperm. <laughs> and when my parents got to New York City, the accents were so thick that they couldn't even understand each other. And my grandfather was useless because we had him in a life support system because my father was keeping him alive against his will. And my grandfather would be like, John, pull the blood, pull the blood, mommy. But grandpa, you know I'm not supposed to put you out of your misery. Just pull the blood, pull the damn blood. And my mother had emancipated herself early in life. I'm not about reproduction anymore. I'm about me production, okay? And my father was a tenacious man. And I'd be like, Dad, Dad, why don't you quit drinking? Because I'm not a quitter. Get away from me. <laughs> and luckily for me, I had a mentor, which was my Uncle Sandy, who was what you would probably call a triple threat. He was Latin, gay, and deaf. <laughs> and my Uncle Sandy would be like, Life sucks. Theater, theater is for you, John. And he took me to my first play, which was Chorus Line. And there was this Latin person there, and she ain't have a gun in her hand or a hypodermic needle. And she wasn't a hooker or a maid, so it was kind of hard to tell if she was Latin. <laughs> so I had to write my own damn story, because I'm Latin, y'all. And because I'm here, y'all. Because I said, free freak, y'all. I said, a freak, freak, y'all. F to the R to the E to the A to the K, y'all. To the K, y'all. Freak, freak, y'all. Freak, freak, y'all. And the best new play of 1998 is Art.